Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at my newest custom, which you guys have been watching me paint in those videos that are of me painting this figure, and now you get to finally see it finished. Hopefully this video will be uploaded right after all of the Watch Me Paint videos, but I'm not sure how the timing is going to work, so we'll see. But either way, this is the final product, obviously. Uh, it's very similar to the first Lady Deadpool I did, and that is because the customer said, Hey, I'd like you to recreate the first Lady Deadpool you did. So, didn't have a whole lot of leeway there. I asked him if I could change a few things. He said, sure. So, I did, but just a few very small things. Nothing major. I wanted to keep the general figure the same because it was a pretty successful recipe, I think. And after all, that's what he asked for originally. She stands... Let's use inches. She stands six inches tall which puts her in pretty good scale with the other marvel legends because most of the males are about six and a half inches tall roughly so that works pretty well the base body the major part of the body is the shield agent hope summer's body mystique no mystique had the cleavages i think uh well the torso is actually hope summers for this one the arms from the shoulders down are mystique the I left the crotch the same this time instead of rebuilding a new crotch. I left the crotch the same and then I put new legs on, new thighs. And how I did that was I sanded down the, or cut down the uh, Hope Summer's legs. Uh, kind of like an amputee would have a prosthetic that fits over the remaining part of the limb. And that's how I added the pyro thighs. That's what those are, pyros. And then the lower legs are... Uh, the Forge Wolverine 2-Pack Wolverine because the legs just have a little bit of meat on them this time the Shield Agent Lady did not have much shape to her legs so the this combination gives it a nice look without looking too masculine so I did that for the legs of course all the joints have been treated for paint rub so there's none of that and I gave her a set of interchangeable hands these are re-sculpted Wolverine hands from that same 2-Pack these are for holding the swords. As you can see, I made slots in them to hold the swords effectively. Now, when you put these on the figure, the swords are already here, they do look a bit big. The hands look a bit big when they're not holding the swords, but they're only for holding the swords, and once you do that, they fit just fine scale-wise. If I don't throw the sword across the room, <clears throat> I'll show you. And now this way, she holds the swords perfectly nicely without ever worrying about dropping them or anything. It fits nicely in the hand, looks natural, and that's good. None of the, uh, even the Electra figure that held the swords, I didn't really care for how the hands were, so that's why I used the uh, modified Wolverine ones. So that's why I did that. These straps are part of the forge harness. These straps came sculpted onto the figure, so I don't have to worry about that. This belt is a mixture of neoprene and various other parts. The buckle I made myself. Uh, the chest harness thing, which is removable, is made out of the forge harness as well, but it's obviously not just a straight-up forge harness because it's not the same shape. So that comes off. All you have to do is slide that over the arms when you pull them back. It comes right off, no problem. If you don't have to look through a camera, it's even easier than I just made it look. So that's the harness that just fits over the shoulders. The sword parts, these holsters, are part of the Deadpool, that uh, X-Force Deadpool that came out not that long ago, same as the red one that I just reviewed recently. These are from that that I cut down to look the way I wanted them to look. I connected those, and I also connected these movable uh, shoulder holsters for the pistols, and those can slide back, just like on the original Lady Deadpool, and you can just tuck them away if you don't want to have those on the front. Or you can bring them forward, and they will fit, they will stay where you want them to once it's on the figure. No problemo, so she's got the pistols if you want them. So there's that. The head is a shaved down mystique head that I re-sculpted, and I added the hair from the Age of Apocalypse saber tooth. and as you saw already, that's poseable, and I made it so that that can be removed if necessary for storage or something like that, but it'll stay in place just fine otherwise. The head is a bit roundish, but that is how she's drawn. She's actually drawn with a much rounder head than this even. So I kind of tried to not go so far as they do, but I wanted it to uh, at least resemble the original drawing for the most part. I put a peg hole in the back for the Marvel Legends flight stand. 
which this is probably one of the last figures, if not the last figure, that I'll actually include a flight stand with just because they don't make them anymore and getting ones that aren't broken or super loose is getting almost impossible, is becoming almost impossible and I'm running out and I don't think I can get any more so I just, I can't do what I can't do, you know? It's unfortunate we don't get flight stands anymore but that's the way it is. So that's pretty much, oh I added the straps on the arms, those are all neoprene sheeting. Uh, the paint if you guys didn't watch the video, is a black base coat with red dry brushing on top, with brown dry brushing over the black for the belts and things. That's pretty much it for the uh, rundown of the figure. You already saw she has a total of four hands. She has two pistols, four to go, haha, <laughs> four two, four to go in the holsters, and these are the Nick Fury uh, pistols that I painted up to be custom looking and cool with red detailing and silver. Then she has a couple of small SMGs, whatever these are called, MP5K, maybe that's what it is. I don't know, guys. I don't remember. I don't keep track of guns like this. But that's what those are, again, all custom painted. Then she has the shotgun that came with the new Punisher, again, custom painted. And the rifle, this looks like an AK, again, custom painted. So she's got a decent array of accessories, the two swords, stand, the removable harness, and there she is. So that's the figure you guys watched me paint. That looks like it's doing pretty well. You guys seem to be liking those videos. So I'll probably do that again with my next custom that's ready for paint. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.